What's up guys, Sahaman doing a Q&A video today. So I'm gonna be doing their responses to the, everyone's questions. But before we do, check out this shirt right here, man, a Target. Yeah, check out Seha Man. There he is, Seha Dog, not Seha Man. Seha, come here. Come here, baby. Oh, oh, right in the you know what. Right in the you know what. Come on, these guys wanna see you. Say hi. Say hi. Yo. Say hi, cutie. Say hi, cutie. Ow. Look at him. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There we go. I think this is focused in on me. It should be focused on me. All right, guys. So we're going to do the Q&A here. Got the laptop going. Going to answer the questions. My son's out here playing. It's a nice day out here in Corona. It is uh, March, no, April 17th, March. And it's almost 4.30 p.m. down here. So we're going to get started with your questions. I kind of reviewed them before, but I didn't like prep for them. Only because some of the questions are really hard, so I'm just gonna let you know some of them I won't have full answers to because it's really hard and I just, some of them are really hard and I'll explain, I'll explain to you in a second. Some of them, um, some of the questions people did ask twice, but I think everybody ahead of time for leaving a question. First up, in Chris, this is a guy who's constantly, uh, who always um, leaves comments on my videos and on Facebook, so what's up buddy? First question you asked is, when did you start collecting toys? What is your favorite first toy that you got since young? And do you have a P.O. box? Let us know if you have, thanks. Thank you. Um, the P.O. box, the information is in the description below. So if you guys wanna send you know, fan art or mail, feel free to, right below. Just check in that, uh, the click in the description down there. When did I start collecting toys? I started collecting when I was a kid, probably four to five years old. I've always loved toys and for some weird reason, I used to want to collect certain toys and leave them in packaging, and that's hard as a kid. Um, a lot. The first line I collected um, that started, got me really into collecting and leaving um, cards in the package was Star Wars, and even and some Spawn figures. But I, I collected everything as a kid, everything: Ghostbusters, He-Man. Um, I think maybe a few GI Joes, um, Marvel, DC, all that good stuff. Aliens uh, back in the Kenner. Um, Independence Day. I had so many figures growing up, but the ones I used to keep on card that really got me into collecting was Star Wars. Luna Meow. Hey, say hi, man. When are you going to Frankenstein's <laughs> again? I'm at Frankenstein's every week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm always there. Thank you, Dukes videos. Hi, say hi, man. Dukes here. Anyways, would like to ask you who your favorite figure reviewer is besides me. That's tough. Um, Review Spot has always been one reviewer I've always loved watching, and the same. Well, he reviews a lot of just a lot of variety of things. It can be anything: My Little Pony, Marvel Legends, Hot Toys, horror figures, um, pretty much everything. Um, the, the Review Spots reviews, but uh, I would have to say I would have to say the Review Spot. If not, um, like I think second up would be Pixel Dan. Pixel Dan is a guy who I've been watching for like the past maybe three years and I just love how he does like old school retro stuff and his channel reminds me of like, I, it's kind of weird, it's, his channel reminds me of Saturday morning cartoons, does that make any sense to you guys? But that's what his channel reminds me of. And another guy who I watch for um, Hot Toys reviews is Optobotomist. Those are three, three reviewers that I really do watch um, regularly. So there you go, it's going to be the review spot. Harris927 asks, what is your favorite NES game? And mine's Batman, the video game. What's so special about it is I beat it, I, I, is I beaten it 171 times without losing a life and getting a game over. It's pretty good, man. Uh, favorite Nintendo game? That's tough, man. I, I loved, um, what was it, Knockout or Punch-Out? That was a good one. And Zelda, I loved Zelda. Uh, Zelda is just a game that I love altogether, but it, be between those two, those two games. Um, yeah, so that's that's to answer your question. I don't remember a lot of Nintendo games. W3A Fed asks, 
what is your favorite line of Marvel Legends? Um, Marvel Legends, if you guys don't know, is what got me back into collecting figures. Yeah. No, not right now. Not right now. Come on, go play. Go play. My favorite. <laughs> um, what got me back into collecting figures was a Marvel Legends figure, and that was a Marvel Legend Gambit by Toy Biz. The uh, the line that I started getting after that that I loved the most, that was so fun collecting and building the build a figure, was the Sentinel build a figure line. So that's to answer your questions, the Marvel Legends uh, Sentinel build a figure line by Toy Biz. Next up, Marine Marine Hulk. As, are you a fan of Kevin Smith and if so what do you think his best film is I like Kevin Smith for the most part I don't like all his films I've seen Red State I've seen Chasing Amy the Clerks and I've seen Jay and Silent Bob I've seen Jay and Silent Bob strike again but my favorite movie that he did do that I just enjoy and I, I still watch to this day is Mall Rats. Mall Rats, I mean, as a, I watched that as a kid and I used to collect, I was really heavy into collecting comics and action figures, superheroes, all that stuff. So that movie has a lot of comics and superheroes in it. It's a very good film. You got Stan Lee in it. It's just fun all the way around. It takes place in a mall. And they're making a sequel with all of the cast minus Ben Affleck. But um, I am a fan of Kevin Smith because I, I subscribe to him on YouTube on his podcast channel and I listen to them and um, I follow them on Instagram and on Facebook. So I like I like Kevin Smith for the most part. Dark Sonic 453 asks, will you ever do a hangout meet and greet? Would be so cool to host at Frank and Sons or something of that sort. I've actually discussed this with Josh at Frank and Sons. You guys know, um, you know who he is if you guys are from Frank and Sons or down here. He has a booth over there. He's a vendor, what is that noise? And um, we, him and I have talked about holding like a meet and greet at his booth and he's all for it. If you guys are willing to go and we set up a date, I will definitely do a meet and greet there. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll totally do it. Trojan Zombies, what are your top three horror figures that you own and will you continue reviewing horror figures? As far as reviewing horror figures go, I'm always going to review horror figures. If you guys have been following me since the first like three years, the first year or year and a half, I reviewed so many horror figures. I got most of the ones that I wanted. Um, there's not a lot of lines doing a, um, of horror figures nowadays. I think NECA is pretty much the only one with the Jason, the Nightmare on Elm Street. But if, if cool stuff does come out horror-wise, I will pick them up. But um, top three horror figures, it's kind of tough. I, lo I love the, the NECA Ch um, Chenard figure, the Hellraiser. I love my 18-inch um, um, Jason Voorhees. I, I don't I haven't reviewed it yet. I did it in a haul, and um, I don't know. I don't know what another one would be. To be honest with you, I have so many horror figures. I love a lot of the um, the NECA Freddy ones. To be honest with you, but that's that's a tough one. The NECA Halloween figures are so cool too. Um, thanks for the question. Next up is uh, the flies out here. Ghost Ghost Tab. When will we start seeing more Seha Dog in your videos? By the way, great review of the Dark Knight figures. Thank you. Seha Man, you guys are actually seeing him more and more in videos now. I just showed him before this uh, intro, or the intro here, but he's right over there. You guys are going to see more of him, trust me. Thank you. Felipe Terraz, Terrazaz, do you do toy photography? I've, asked, I've been asked this a few times. Um, I would totally love to get into toy photography. It's just really hard for me because I don't have the time to be posing and putting you know figures and cool backdrops and outside and all that and I suck at posing figures I don't have the patience for it there's people out there in ACBA that are so good at it and I, I uh, follow some of them on Instagram and I follow ACBA on, on uh, Facebook and it's amazing the work these guys do I've actually shot a few pictures on ACBA with um, my the, the um, Superman Mattel line the toy the, the, the Man of Steel figures uh, NECA, NECA Predator Arnold Schwarzenegger Dutch and um, one of my favorite ones, which I got a lot of likes on on Instagram and on Facebook, was a picture I did in the driveway of um, 89 Hot Toys Batman and the 89 Batmobile, which is my favorite shot. A lot of people loved it, but um, those are the only ones I've actually really done. If I had the time and patience, I would totally love to do it. Uh, next up, Yeshua Flores. Yeshua Flores, favorite NECA toy line, favorite figure. I don't know what my favorite NECA figure would be, to be honest with you. But uh, favorite NECA toy line, I'd have to go with right now with what's going on now. I'd go with the Predator, with the Predator line. But with with what Aliens is coming out with right now, it might be Aliens soon. But I'm going to say Predator right now. Um, Kim Karistad, I hope I said that right. What do you do for a living? 
I am in, I work in the medical field. Do you have a PO box for fan letters? Yes, the description is below. Uh, feel free to send uh, letters or fan art. What's Corona, California like? A lot of hills, a lot of hills, beautiful weather. It gets hot down here, a lot of trees. It's very green here, it's very green. There's not a lot, of, there's not a lot out here, but there's, a, there's, there's um, you'd have to go to Orange County to find like all the cool comic stores and you know other, other stuff, but uh, there's a lot of Toys R Us and Targets around here in Walmart, so that's a plus side, but this, yeah, I love it down here. I love Corona, it's very peaceful too. Um, and uh, yeah, Corona. <laughs> Next up, Stunning Steve 666. Since the best questions have already been asked, I'll ask. Am I your favorite subscriber? Don't forget that I'm German. Maybe that gives me a plus points or a minus points for that matter. Come on, bro. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Christian Rivera, have you ever been to Atlanta or anywhere on the East Coast? You know what? My girlfriend is trying to get me to go places. I've never flown anywhere or really been anywhere, to be honest with you. I have a fear of flying. And um, our goal is to actually either, either this year or next year fly somewhere, whether it be Las Vegas, just to get my feet wet, to get on a plane. But I really do want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to New York. But yeah, I, I've never been anywhere and I definitely need to, need to travel around the world. I really need to, we only live once, so I really got to do it. Thank you for the question. Next up, X the X X the Golden Boy X seventeen XX. Who is your favorite Marvel and DC superheroes? Choose one of each. Favorite Marvel superhero? We'll go with DC because that's easy, and it's Batman. Everybody knows I love Batman. Loved him as a kid. He's just a regular human being. He's smart, detective. He's got cool gadgets. He's rich. He's a playboy. You know, Bruce Wayne. Um, he's got all the greatest villains. I I would say, and. You got Robin as a sidekick. I, Alfred, I, Batman. Man, he's so dark. He's so like mysterious. You know, you can tell he's got a lot of personal issues. But Batman, as far as Marvel goes, growing up, I read tons of Marvel comics. I loved um, Captain America. I loved the X Men. Gambit was my favorite superhero in the X Men. But I would definitely have to go with Spider Man. Spider Man is one that I love the toys. I love the comics. I love the animated series. So Spider Man would have to be my favorite Marvel superhero. I don't think a lot of people know that. Um, Verbose Gosling one asks, how old? If you're asking how old I am, I am 30 years young, but I look 20. Cal Caprilis, Caprilis, I think I said that right. Are you going to ever review the new Jurassic World toys? I've already started, buddy. Um, I've already done two reviews and there's um, gonna be more on the way, so stay tuned for the Jurassic World toys. Killer Bane 2019 asks, who's your favorite superhero and why? Batman, love Batman since I was a kid. I love the suits, I love the different suits he's ever worn I just love everything I love his gadgets I love his um all his vehicles man he's got the best vehicles I love all the movies yeah the shoe the shoemaker move Schumacher movies were bad but I still love them you know I, I love them as a kid you can't deny it I love them as a kid uh, he's he's just he's a regular human being doesn't really have any superpowers he's dark he's mysterious he's just he's, he's Batman there's just so many reasons why I love Batman but Batman's my favorite superhero uh, T-Boy asks, would you rather be Batman, Superman, Iron Man, or Spider-Man for a day only and why? Woo, tough, tough. I would have to say Iron Man only because I'd wear the suits, I'd fly around, I'd get all that money and do whatever I could and I'd fly everywhere around the world, I'd save whoever I could and I would just, I don't know, I, I would save as ma many people as I could in one day buy as much stuff as I could in one day if it's even possible and travel around the world flying and go even go to space. That's what I would do. Have you ever shopped? Oh, I'm sorry. Irene Rivera, Etienne Rivera asks, what is the best thing about living in California? As you can see the weather, oh, you can't see, you're just seeing grass here. The weather, um, we got a lot of stuff to do down here. We got beaches, we got you know, mountains, hills, but a lot of places have that. Uh, you got Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland, Six Flags Magic Mountain, all the cool comic stores, uh, Frank and Sons Collectibles, tons of stores down here, Targets, Walmarts, a lot of places to eat. I love Southern Cali. It's just my place, man. I love it down here, and there's so much to do down here. Um, have you ever shopped at a thrift store or swap meet for any figures or statues, old or new? I found some and for good deals. That's from Timbra79. I used to shop at Swap Meets as a kid with my dad for figures. I haven't done it lately, and me and my girlfriend have actually talked about doing a vlog of going with shopping with Sehaman to um, Swap Meets and uh, 
thrift stores. I haven't ever been to a thrift store shop for figures, but we do plan on doing that, so stay tuned for the vlogs. Sorry guys, hold on one second. Hi guys. Here, go back inside. Who are you talking to? I'm doing a video. Go blow your nose. Go blow your nose in the tissue. All right, next up. Marinated police banana. What inspired you to be a collector? When did your passion start? It started as a kid and it's just a love of action figures, love of superheroes, love of just, I love action figures. They're just so cool. I don't even know how to answer that. It's just, there's so many reasons. Um, displaying them, they look awesome. There's a lot of different things I love about different figures. I love clear figures. I love glow in the dark figures. I love six inch figures. I love three inch figures. I love all kinds of figures. And they just give you, they take you to this place where you escape reality and you know, for those few minutes or whatever, you just feel free. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a passion that I've always had. And when I stopped collecting and got back into it, I feel like a kid again. Um, next up is Joker Face Medusa. Will you be collecting the Mezco Mortal Kombat X figure line? And which figure are you looking forward to the most? Don't say Scorpion or Sub-Zero, LOL. Also, do you think Mezco has the rights to make a Mortal Kombat X version of Jason, Predator, or Spawn if he really in the game? I don't think I'm going to be getting the Mortal Kombat X figures, to be honest with you. I've seen the game, and I've seen the gameplay on it, and the game looks killer. Too bad I'm just not really into games anymore. I was as a kid, but I don't think I'll be getting the figures. If you guys want to see me review them, I'll definitely review them. Um, as far as the line for Jason, Predator, and Spawn, if they have the rights, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Cody Belsh asks, I've noticed that when you review figures, reviewing figures that are part of a continuing series, you usually mention that you can't do comparisons because of previous figures in that, previous figures in that series are in storage. Is that where most of your figures end up? And if so, do you hope to be able to display more of them someday? I've been asked about a collection video since almost day one. A lot of them I used to display in my in the room. It just got too cluttered. And a lot of them I had to put in bins. And there was bins, and I'm talking big bins. Bins and bins of figures. And I put them in like Ziploc bags and wrapped them up with newspaper. But it just got to the point where I felt like I was hoarding. I sold a lot of them off. I have several Marvel Legends, several DC UC figures, um, NECA ones, and of course Hot Toys. But if you guys want to see what I have, let me know in the comments below and I'll work something out. Daddy, look, he has to do a look purple. Look at No, this one doesn't have it anymore. Just go what? back inside. I'll fix it right now. All right, next up. Daddy. Let's see. Daddy. Yeah. You have to Sorry, guys. See, my son's in it collecting too. All right, next up, Christian Alacron. What's something you've been wanting to collect but can't seem to find it, get it, whatever reason? One line that I, it's not that I can't find it or get it because down here in Southern California, we can almost get every figure we want. Um, it would have to be the foreign, the foreign figures like, you know, Bandai, SH Figure Arts, just stuff, figures like that, but just some of them are too expensive and it's just a line that's so nice. But it's very pricey to get into, much like Hot Toys. I'm, I'm pretty much cutting, make, stopping collecting Hot Toys because it's just getting too pricey. I'm going back full force on like the six inch, seven inch figures that I did when I started reviewing. I'm going back to that way. Um, a lot of these uh, Hot Toys and other figures, they're just too pricey to be honest with you. But yeah, that, that's to answer your question. Next up, Osrez, Marvel or DC? Tough question, buddy. Marvel is comics, as far as comics go as a kid, I read Variety, Fantastic Four, um, Spider-Man, Captain America, X-Men, X-Force, Uncanny X-Men, X-Factor, um, Ghost Rider, Punisher. I read the, all the X-Men 2099s. There's, there's too many to name right now on the top of my head. The Avengers, uh, whew, there's, just, there's a lot, but as far as DC goes, I just mainly read Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern. So if I had to pick a side because of the variety and different stories and different awesome cool other heroes, I would have to say Marvel. How dare you ask me that? Godzilla 294. Out of all the monster movies, which monster is your favorite? I loved Godzilla growing up as a kid in King Kong, but I would have to say Godzilla. The Tour Reviewer 1984. Hey Seha man, when did you start collecting? I already answered that. That was about four or five. What inspired you to get into collecting? Already answered that also. <laughs> what
What is your favorite toy collectible line to collect? Right now, as of now, it was Hot Toys, but I'm cutting back. I would have to say um, it's probably NECA. NECA is probably my favorite one right now. And what is your favorite single collectible that you own? Thanks, Sahaman Peace. Thank you. I really, really love, for so many reasons, the NECA, I'm sorry, the Hot Toys 89 Michael Keaton Batman. And that's just one of my favorite figures that I own. If not, it is my favorite. Dev Bob 98 top five favorite figures or toys of any kind. That's, that's tough. That's tough because a lot of them are gonna be Hot Toys. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't really have a top five that I that I own that I like, but I will do a top five figures that I own. I just really have to go through a lot of figures because in the top of my head, I can't think of everything. So sorry, um, Richard Padilla. We know you that you collect a lot of toys. Would you or did you ever try toy photography? I already answered that, but I just can't do it. Felipe Salinas, what is your favorite? What is your favorite movie and figure? And you need to do a toy, a tour with all your figures. Cheers from Chile. Cheers. I already um, explained the, to the tour, the toy tour. As far as favorite movie and figures, I don't know. If I had to pick a favorite movie, not because everybody, it's critically acclaimed. Um, if my favorite movie, and I'm going to do all three at one, it'd have to be the Star Wars um, trilogy, the uh, original one back in like the 70s and 80s. I, that was favorite movie of all time as a kid. Still love them to this day. Um, but there's a list of other movies that I love, like Shawshank Redemption, um, Goodfellas, Pulp Fiction. There's just there is just too many movies to name. But Star Wars, I'd have to go with Star Wars, guys. Uh, thank you for the question. Madrid seven four one. What are your top five favorite horror movies, and what is the most expensive figure you own? Most expensive figure I own is the 18 inch um, Dark Knight. I think it's Dark Knight. Yeah, the Dark Knight Rises Batman figure. I think it's Dark Knight Rises or it's just Dark Knight. But it's an 18 inch Hot Toys one. That one is kind of pricey. Uh, top five favorite horror movies. Not in any order. Uh, top of my head, I love Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one. Um, I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Re um, I love Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead was a great movie. If you guys have seen Dawn of the Dead, I love Night of the Living Dead. And I love the second Hellraiser movie. But th that's a tough one. There's a lot of horror movies. I, you know which one I liked too? It. I loved It. And I loved the remake of Tom Savini's Nightmare, um, Nightmare, Night of the Living Dead, if you guys watched it. That's more than five, but those are some of the horror movies I really love. And I love Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead, I'm not gonna lie. 28 Days Later, good God. Stop asking these tough questions, man. Uh, next up, Loopy Prodigy 96 do you play any kind of video games? The only ones I do play are the ones my son plays for PS3, that's it. If so, do you own any of the current gen consoles like the Xbox, X, it says X-Bone, but I think you meant Xbox or PS4. PS, if you could do more reviews of game related toys, merchandise, ETC, that would be great. I just own PS3. As far as figure wise, video game wise, you, I'm going to be doing more Nintendo uh, related figure reviews, so stay tuned for that. Hope it's not too windy out here. Um, next up, Kaiju Chevrolet asks, why do you enjoy toys? Engineering, aesthetics, nostalgia, do you view them as a form of art? Why I review toys? A lot of it is nostalgia, and a lot of it just takes me back to my childhood. And if you guys are kids, it's just the innocence, man. When you didn't have a worry in the world except what was coming on, you know, Saturday morning cartoons, what was gonna happen in the next episode of Batman the, An the Animated Series, or X-Men the Animated Series. And I just love superheroes, and it takes you away from reality even if it's just for a few minutes, you know, it takes you back to when you were a kid, when you were so happy. I mean, I'm not I'm happy now, but you know what I mean, just, there's just a lot of reasons, and it can be, it doesn't have to be the fully articulated, fully detailed figure, man. Some of them can be the old school Kenner Toy Biz figures from the 90s or 80s. It's just whatever that character or figure means to you. There's just so much about certain figures that mean a lot to me. So there's a lot of reasons why. And last question, Javion, J Javion, I think I said that right. What's your PO box so people can send you toys? You don't have to send me toys. If you want to send me letters or fan art, whatever, leave it in the, uh, or leave it, the description, the, I can't talk today. The description is in the, in the, um, below. The info's in the description below. I can't talk. So if you guys do want to send stuff, that I know you guys have been asking me for a PO box. I just recently got one a few days ago. So you guys can send whatever you like in the PO box um, below. And um, NECA, if you guys are watching this, Hot Toys, 
Hasbro, I want you guys to send me toys. <laughs> but thanks, thanks everybody for answering or for um, leaving comments below. I really appreciate it. Thank you everybody for subscribing. Thank you everybody for viewing, liking, sharing the videos. I enjoy doing these reviews. Thank you everybody for the support. My son is throwing rocks everywhere. If you can hear that one, just almost hit me in the head. I gotta take this out for a walk. I gotta play with my son. I gotta upload this later, this what I'm doing. And there's toys I gotta review. Good God, I gotta go, it's raining rocks. Peace guys, thanks for everything. Check the shirt out, check the shirt out, check the forums, peace.